Although it's rare, research shows that the ringing in your ear could be related to a growth on your auditory nerve, not inside your brain, but inside your head. Watch this whole video to know when you need to tell your doctor about this and when you need to get an MRI neuroimaging or a hearing test study to really know what's going on. This is Pure Tinnitus. Hey, my name is Dr. Ben Thompson. I'm an audiologist and tinnitus specialist in California. So occasionally there's a group of cells on your auditory nerve that can grow into a tumor. The auditory nerve shares the same space as your balance nerve, and that goes from your ear into your brain. Having that growth on your auditory nerve can affect your hearing or your balance systems. And this is called an acoustic neuroma, also called a vestibular schwannoma. So although it's possible for you to have an acoustic neuroma on your nerve, it's not very likely. A 2014 study showed that only 1-2% to of people who report the classic symptom of hearing loss on one side or ringing in the ear on one side actually turned out to have a vestibular schwannoma. And another study showed that only about 60% of individuals with an acoustic neuroma actually reported tinnitus or ringing in the ear before they got a surgery. So I know this can feel scary if you're not sure if you have a growth on your auditory nerve. Just remember that that unless your symptoms are causing significant problems in your day-to-day -day life, that you're probably fine to continue on day by day until you have that next appointment with the specialist that I'll recommend to you. So if you have any of the following symptoms, take note. Ringing in one ear, hearing loss in one ear, facial numbness, ear pain, dizziness, vertigo, where the room is spinning, or headaches, migraines, if you have any combination of those symptoms, I strongly recommend that you contact your doctor and let them know. Your doctor may order a hearing test and an MRI or a neuroimaging study to see what's going on past the eardrum. I've done many hearing tests on patients with tinnitus or hearing loss or dizziness on one side and I've referred them to an ear, nose, throat medical clinic for them to do a full diagnostic evaluation. That would include the neuroimaging study to get a full picture of what's going on. I've also been on the other side of it where as an audiologist I've fit hearing aids or done a hearing test on patients who have gone through with a surgery for an acoustic neuroma. Typically those patients have to talk with their doctor about what the pros and cons, what the risks and benefits of the procedure would be. Oftentimes, if you go through with that procedure, it does involve losing part of your hearing. So rest assured that typically an acoustic neuroma, a growth on the auditory nerve, it's a very slow growing condition. Actually, my grandfather has this and he's gone 10 years with having the growth on his nerve, his doctor's monitoring it every year, and it's really not that big of a problem for him. But I don't recommend that you just go ahead and say, not a problem for me. I recommend that you talk to your doctor about what you can do about it. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up below. If you don't, YouTube doesn't recommend our video to anyone else. Press that red subscribe button. That way you don't miss our new video coming out every single week. And tap the notification bell so YouTube gives you an alert when it comes out. We also have a nice newsletter to keep you connected about all things tinnitus. You can check that in the info below. And remember to take your journey one step at a time.